Now that we have a basic understanding of what C++ really is, we can begin our journey to making fully-fledged C++ applications. Unfortunately, before we can begin, we must install a few essential tools that will allow us to code. The first of which is a code editor, or text editor, which is basically a tool that allows us to write code and create a source file from that code. This could be even a program as simple as Notepad, as long as it allows the programmer to write and edit text and then create an output file from that text. The second tool that we require is the Humble Compiler, which simply converts or translates the code that we write into something that the computer can understand. This will usually take the form of machine language. Another tool that is essential is the debugger, which will flag any errors that we may have made while programming. Just think of it like spell checker in Microsoft Word, except designed for programmers. Most importantly, the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, allows you to use the compiler, code editor, debugger, and other tools all in one seamless application. So I'll be showing you how to get an IDE called Visual Studio, and although it offers paid versions, for the most part it's free. So let's begin by opening up a search engine and simply typing in Visual Studio Express. This refers to the free version of Visual Studio. So by clicking on the first link, we'll be taken to the Visual Studio Express site, where you can scroll down a little and then click on Express for Desktop. This will allow us to create executable files. If we wanted to make web pages or even Windows Store apps, we would have to download a different version of Visual Studio. So once the file has finished downloading, we can simply click on it to run it. The installation process is reasonably easy. Simply agree to the terms of agreement and set the installation path if necessary. Now click next and then hit install. So now Visual Studio will begin installing. It's important to note that if the installer is taking more than half an hour or an hour, I would highly recommend restarting the installation. Once this is finished, then you have successfully installed Visual Studio. So now that we have Visual Studio, we can begin creating programs in C++. We'll start by opening up Visual Studio by double clicking on it. And once it's opened, click the New Project button. A window will open where you can set the type of application that we want to make, the name of the project, and even the directory where we want to save it. Most importantly, on the left hand side, under Templates, select Visual C++. This will tell Visual Studio that we want a program in C++. Now you can name it whatever you want, but I'll name it Teaching for the purposes of this video. Now you can set the project type to empty project. This will create a completely blank project. Now that we've made the project, we need to make a C++ file. This is a file where our code will be saved. So to create this file, right click on the source files and then select add new item. Now we have the option to name our file and select the type of file. In fact, in Visual Studio, you can create any type of file you want. For example, if I wanted to make the text file, I could simply go into name and add .txt at the end. For example, test.txt. This would actually create a text file that Windows will recognize. But for now, we're going to stick with .cpp files or C++ files. So you can just name your file whatever you want as long as it ends in .cpp. For this example, I'll name it main.cpp. I would recommend naming your file main because although your code will still work perfectly fine if you don't, it's just a good habit to get into naming the main file of your project, well, main. So if you click add, you'll be presented with the code editor. This is where we will write our code. So, congratulations, you've successfully installed an IDE, which will allow you to write your code with cool things like IntelliSense. Not only that, but you've created a blank project where you can start making applications, but more on that next time, where we'll be creating our first program, which will output any text that we want to the screen. So let's get started. 